Right now at five, we are tracking disturbing new details in the death of a three month old boy. Good evening to you. I'm Erica Fly. And I'm Todd Connor. Police believe the child was murdered by his own mother who didn't feed him and kept him in a drawer in an entertainment center. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas was in court this morning and has those details for us. Derek. Todd, court documents say the victim was photographed and was mere skin and bones. It said his eyes were open and protruding from his head. It's supposed to be a home, but it became a coffin for three-month-old Philip Roby. Police say his mother, 29-year-old Bambi Glazerbrook, kept him in a drawer of an entertainment center in the living room. It had to be something wrong with the mother's mind to even consider even putting a baby in a, in a drawer, you know, in order for it to sleep or rest, take a, take a nap or whatever. According to the probable cause affidavit, the victim was grossly underweight and malnourished. He weighed five pounds, eight ounces. And the cause of death was due to extreme failure to thrive or starvation. How extraordinary is that? Uh, fairly extraordinarily in my experience, um, but certainly um, it justifies the filing of the criminal charges. Police were called to the house last Thursday at 3 p.m. An hour later, the doctor who examined the victim said the body temperature of the child was 80.5 degrees, meaning he was dead hours before help was sought. It's, it's horrible. It, it's cruel. I couldn't imagine. Oh, my God, that my kid, I would, I would honestly have to kill somebody for doing something to my kids. My kids mean everything to me. I don't see how her kids could mean everything to her that she couldn't take care of that baby. Prior to this latest incident, Glazebrook had failed to take care of her other children in her family, and they had been removed from the home by Child Protective Services. According to the probable cause affidavit, a two-year-old who exhibited signs of malnourishment was in the home during this latest incident. Now, Glazebrook is held without bond in the Marion County Jail. She will have her initial court appearance tomorrow. Derek Thomas, RTV6.